morning from Schiphol. My name is Ivana and this is Nadine. And we are about to find out where we are flying to because we are going on a trip with Surprise Me. I will put the link of the organization down in the description below. But the basic idea is that they book a holiday for you and you can you know, indicate your preferences and everything. But you only find out where you're going at the airport. For the past week, we've only known the weather. <laughs> so this was our preparation for the trip. It was quite hard packing. <laughs> we have to um, yeah, you have to down. scratch it, yeah, scratch it, and get the cold. Six, okay, four, six, okay. <laughs> this feels like winning the lottery or something. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna type in the code six four six zero. Nadine, are you ready? Put us out of our mystery. Okay. <laughs> oh no. So we're flying at 10. Oh, okay. Seriously, it is I think almost 8:30. We need no. to hurry up. Okay. 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 We Let's go. go. Let's go. We need, we need to take Barcelona. Yeah, fun. Looking for our flight. We literally didn't know what kind of flight we would have. So this one. 10:05, Barcelona. Check in 19. Guys, you will not believe what just happened. <laughs> We are truly honoring our name, Team Naive. Like for real, we almost missed our flight again. Because this time we were on time at the airport, we knew what time our flight was leaving. But the thing is, on the ticket or on the boarding pass, well, <laughs> the seat number was printed really big and the dean checked it and she thought it was no, no, our boarding gate. No, no, it wasn't my fault this time. <laughs> So she thought it was our boarding gate. But it, to be very honest, I've made this mistake before. Like sometimes it looks like it's a boarding gate on the boarding pass and it's actually the seat number. So we were completely in a different terminal on the other side at the airport. We were at the E gates and we were looking, but there was only like E1 until 24. So we were like, but 31, where's 31? Is there a different terminal with E gates or something? And then we checked it again and we found out that it was actually the seat number. <laughs> Not the Greek number. Oh, we so we were like, what the app? Really we long security check. Yeah. Also. To get through that, <laughs> to that terminal. So we already wasted a lot of time through that security check, the passport control. And we were like, we need to get to the other side of the airport and our flight is boarding like literally right now. So we got back at passport control and there was still a massive line. We were like, we're gonna miss our flight if we stand in this this queue. We're gonna miss our flight. So we were like saying to all the passengers, like our flight is boarding right now. We are at the wrong terminal. Can we please go ahead and everything? And they were also sweet and so nice. And we were running through the airport, and I had to pee so bad. And we were laughing, like dying of laughter, but still like running. And I was trying not to pee my pants, like literally. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, we are, like, we are not allowed to talk, to talk anymore because we get so distracted. We were talking some serious stuff. Seriously, yeah. We talk a lot, anyways, in general. But <laughs> we almost missed our flight again. Like, what the F? And when we got here, Nadine also thought she lost her board. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag team naive man, seriously, team naive, wow, just wow. When we go back, we will definitely, well actually when we arrive, we will check our departure time and the day before we will check our departure time. And we will make some pictures of it and we will study it. Yeah, <laughs> because we are making this into a hobby, like missing plates. Missing plates. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny at all. How was the flight? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Tell them about the aliens you spotted. Yeah. <laughs> Nadine was spotting aliens. I've seen some aliens. <laughs> She's not even me. kidding. You won't believe she, me. She went I, completely I, I mental. I spotted on tape because I was a little bit 
The first time I traveled solo in my life, I went to Barcelona. It was right after I broke up with my ex. And that's also when like all my cards got blocked and I had no money at all. So this is like a new good experience with Barcelona. I'm very happy to be here again. <laughs> this is the weirdest feeling. We just landed at an airport and we had no idea where we were going. Also, we just got the information about the hotel. It's like somebody like, well, actually they did. They took care of everything and you just have to show up at the airport, go and have fun. It's really, really cool. We found our hotel, Hotel Chi. Let's go inside. We're in Barcelona, baby! Woohoo! Hola, hola! Señorita! Okay, let me give you a room tour. Let's start out with the bathroom. So this is where you come in, the door, and the shower. Do we? Yes, we have a rain shower, winning in life. Massive mirror, man. This is a big bathroom. I like the space, I like the space. I can appreciate this. Okay, then we're moving this way. Long mirror, the bed. Oh yeah, oh Nadine, we have to do the bed test. But we'll do it after this, and the view. Oh, this is nice, man. Wow, loving it. Also, the weather is really nice. It is now 14 degrees. Oh, this is so nice. Wow, love this view. Three, two, one. Whee! It's soft. No, it's soft. No, no, it's not soft. It's soft. No, it is. No, it is. No, it's soft. It's softer than when we had a It's not soft. It's softer than when we had a No, 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 it's not soft. It's softer, but it's not soft. It's soft. No, no, no. It's, in my book, it's soft. Look at this. It's it's so fluffy. It's it's, it's so fluffy. It's just good. <laughs> Nadine. <laughs> it's it's quite soft. It's softer than the one we had in Hamburg. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. But it's not soft soft, guys. I love your hair. It's a little it's bit. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so fluffy. Yeah. It's so fluffy. We're at a bakery across a street from our hotel. You have to see this. Wait, wait, wait. I will show you the first, the normal baked stuff first and then I have like a like something mind blowing. Okay, so look at all of these mini croissants and stuffs and cakes and donuts and pizza, paninis, mm, something, chocolate, donuts. Everything is fresh. You should smell it here. It's like the best bakery scent ever. Oh, crema. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this. The cakes. Look at this, look at this. All of the cream. And then this one. So in Yugoslavia, this is called Shampita. Oh, neat? What is up with these people? Look at this. One thing about Spain, it's very, very tough um, for vegetarians to find food that you can eat because almost everything contains meat. We ordered these fried noodles and there was pork in it. I forgot. It, like it looked there was no like there was no meat in it on the menu and then it turned out to have pork. So now we ordered more fried rice, no eggs, no meat and we have some food. It is 5 p.m. It was a little bit of a struggle to be very fair but tonight we're going to Google places where we can eat. Mm. Mm. It does taste good. On our way to La Rambla See what's going on there. One of the most is it the most famous street yeah. in Barca? Yeah, the most famous street. La Rambla, Barcelona, Barcelona. Say it with me, Nadine. Barcelona, Barcelona, Barcelona. Yes, baby. <laughs> I really love that in Spain they have this really broad 
um, pedestrian, what is it, street thingy, whatever, you can walk here. <laughs> and on the, on both sides, there are like the car lanes. Yeah, I think just the pedestrian lane, that's the correct word, right? That's really cool, I don't know, just a cozy feeling. Also, I love the buildings here in Barcelona. Look at this, so pretty. And it's a little bit chilly, but definitely not cold, right? No. Well, you have a nice jacket, but I only have like a leather jacket. We just saw this adorable, cute square, and we just have to check it out. Look at this, I love it. Also, palm trees, palm trees, or is it coconut trees, guys? What is it? <laughs> oh, this is so Spanish, love it. This is an awesome square. Oh, somebody singing. There's an awesome fountain here. Love it. We're back at La Rambla. These buildings, man, look how pretty. I have to zoom in for you to see the tiles. Look at that. Love it. We have arrived at the Central Market. So Nadine was here last time. And the last time I visited Barcelona, I wasn't here. So this is a new thing for me. They love their hams, man. Wow. Lots and lots of ham. Oh, I love markets like these. Oh yeah, let's get a juice. Look at this. It's like a fountain of juice. Fountains of juice. Cheers! Piña y coco, aka pineapple and coconut. And you got marcusa. Marcusa, aka <laughs> passion fruit. Passion fruit. So much juices, man. And so much fruit, fresh fruit. Love it. This candy, man. Look how big this is. <gasps> what? What? Look at that. It's huge, man. This market is amazing, man. <laughs> and Nadine wanted to go to the disgusting meat stands where they have like the intestines and everything and the stomach. It was interesting. Stomach. You have to see everything. She also likes watching operations. Yes. <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> Look at these cute marzipan thingies. Look, there's like a McDonald's. Can I help you? Fries. I... Uh, no, I'm just uh, looking. Thank you. Look at that, M&M cupcakes, this is so cute. The last time I was here, I was walking along the La Rambla and then suddenly you go into a side street and the scenery completely changes. It's like small alleys and everything looks alike and I got lost. So this is like a still a broad alley but there are lots and lots of small alleys where you can get lost in the city center of Barcelona. What? We just ran into Hema. The Dutch chain. Yeah, let's check it out. They seriously have all kinds of Dutch food. Look at this. One bad cook. One bad cook, like Kabir would call it. How would they pronounce Hema in Spain? Emma? <laughs> I don't think they pronounce the H. So it's like Emma? Actually, I just asked someone who works here and he said Emma. <laughs> Emma. For all my girls, Barcelona is brilliant for shopping. Oh, this is a tiger store, awesome store. But like they have Kiko over there, makeup. You can literally shop for days in Barcelona. We went shopping a little bit. They had mad discounts over here. Look, look, look. All the shops have massive discounts. 30%, 40%, 50%, 70%. Winning a life, Barcelona. Barcelona, the demon shopping too. Show them your back. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> right now we are off to a Caribbean restaurant where they serve Caribbean tapas. Eat Caribbean Barcelona, we're here. It looks so cute. Because we had no preparation at all. After all, it was a surprise trip, which surprised me. Uh, I just randomly Googled this restaurant from the store where they had free Wi-Fi and we ended up here. And it's supposed to be really good food. Avocado salad. Wow. Nom nom nom. <laughs> the portion sizes are really nice. Look at my hand. Sweet potato fries. What? 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 What did you say, Nani? What did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say? They are sweet. No. And nice. The taste good. Yeah. Lekker. She is so picky when it comes down to food, but she's a very good chef herself. <laughs> This was a really nice restaurant. I really enjoyed the atmosphere and 
Nadine enjoyed the ginger beer. <laughs> and the music. And the music, yeah. And nice people. And the Good. pumpkin soup. Yeah, and they have lots of veggie options, so would highly recommend it. In the metro, on our way back to the hotel. And the best thing is, the metro stop is right in front of our hotel, like literally two minutes from the hotel. Guys, surprise me has one more surprise for us because this is a surrender trip. So we get um, some assignments to get out of our comfort zone and they are in this black envelope. Let me see. Shopping in a cheesy souvenir shop is awesome. But <laughs> buy the most um, cheesy souvenir you can find and give this to a friend when you get back home. Well, maybe. <laughs> We'll see. We get to choose some assignments that we want to do. Buy a postcard with the, with the touristy sites of the city. Write a nice note about the weather and what you did and throw the postcard into a random post, post bus? Yeah, in a post bus. <laughs> in a random post bus. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to do this one. I love this. Eat a uh, dessert as breakfast. 100% going to do that. We already saw a dessert that we want to eat. And order, without checking Google Translate, the third dish off the menu. Are you up for it? Well, we would love to, but then we would need to go to a 100% vegetarian mm -hmm. restaurant because we're both vegetarian. So maybe we will do this. Stay tuned. <laughs> we're back at the hotel, by the way. Currently chilling with a face mask again before we go to sleep. It's 11.30. Tomorrow we have another day full of adventure in Barcelona. So we are in Tomb Raider. Ooh, I never played Tomb Raider. But who doesn't love Angelina Jolie or Lara Croft? If you would like to travel along with Team Naive who almost missed the flight again, <laughs> click that subscribe button. And if you like this vlog, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.